Hey everyone, Bikash here and welcome to WG Labs. Recently I got a BLDC fan which comes with an IR remote control. While it's great for basic control, I thought why not take it a step further and integrate that into my home automation system. That way I could automate the fan and control it seamlessly. So I decided to build a module around ESP8266 with IR LEDs and design a simple enclosure that I can attach directly to the fan. That way the module allow me to replicate the remote signal making the fan fully controllable through automation. With that plan in mind, let's get started. So first let's go through the circuit diagram that we will be building our project around. There are two parts to it, one receiver which will help us decode the IR signals from the remote. This decoding will be a one time process once we have decoded uh, for each button presses, we no longer need that circuit. So I'll be building that around an Arduino Uno and I'll be attaching a TSOP IR receiver which will basically take the signal from the remote and I'll be using a certain Arduino sketch which will dump the signal that is being received by the Arduino Uno to the Arduino console. The second part is built around the Umos D1 module which will actually send the commands to the fan using two IR LEDs. The LEDs will be connected to a GPIO pin and along with them we are going to attach another visible LED which will indicate when the module is receiving commands. It's a fairly simple circuit. All the LEDs will have a series register to limit the current. So this is the 3D enclosure that I have designed which I'll be printing using my 3D printer to house the LEDs and the OEMOS module and then it can be attached to the fan. Now we need to capture the data from the remote that came with the fan. As soon earlier I have connected an IR receiver to the Arduino Uno which is connected to my laptop. To start let's install the IR remote library then from the example upload the receipt dump cache to the Uno. Now press each button on the remote to get the code or data for that particular button that has been pressed. I have shared all the data for my Atomberg fan remote control in my git repository. You can get the link down below in the description. For each key we are going to save the raw data payload or the array from the Arduino console. Be careful to save the raw data array for each button and we will be using those later. This is a one time activity so we are not including the IR receiver circuitry in the final module that we will be building and will be installing or attaching to the fan. The IR transmitter module is also very simple as we saw earlier. I am going to place the LEDs and the OEMOS module in the 3D printer enclosure. So let's quickly finish that then we will flash the OEMOS module with task motor and send the button command to the task motor using MQTT. So I have connected the OEMOS module to my PC and you can see over here the COM port is detected by task motorizer and we need to get into release and select the IR specific build for the ESP8266 module. So I'll select this task motor IR and we'll erase then basically on task motorize. This will basically write the task motor firmware to the ESP8266 module. Now as it is flushed, let's configure the Wi-Fi credentials. So this will basically configure the VMOS module with the Tasmoto firmware to connect to my Wi-Fi network. And we can confirm that uh, by clicking on this get IP. Yep, you can see the IP address. Now we can open up any browser. and paste in the IP address and it should show the basic information about the Tashmota module or the firmware 
and you can see the version that is flashed with okay now from the task motor ui we first need to get into configuration configure module and we change that to generic and once the device restarts again let's get into configuration and now we'll configure the gpio pins so basically here d1 is used for the ir you know leds i'll configure that for ir send and d2 is configured or connected to the led so i'll just configure the led and save it now once again it restarts let's get into main menu and we'll get into console here we are going to configure a rule that is like when the task motor receives a command for ir send it will turn on the led for a certain time and then turn it off to do that i'll just get into my repository and copy this rule here and put it into console so this is basically on ir send data led one is on then basically it adds a delay of 5 second then LED1 goes off so we need to enable the rule now so to do that I'll just do this now let's try to send a command through the task motor interface or console for time being to do that I'll just copy this command for on and off for my fan so I'll just copy the first line come here and we'll just paste it and now it should uh, you know basically higher send should be done the led should go on and then off and that can be seen in the device itself you can try out other commands and you can also change the data that is pertaining to your device and the command you are trying to send through the i leds so maybe i can try just with this one so this will just send command one or basically emulate the button press one from the remote and the fan should get into speed one let's try another command like i'll send action three and let's see if the fan goes into speed three or not and now you can see the fan speed has changed and you can you know confirm it from the display and you can try out other commands if you're interested now post this let's get into mqtt configuration and configure this with our mqtt broker so, so that we can control it from other platforms like open half or you know just publishing the mqtt message using node red or so or any other tools to do that i'll just have it Once the device restarts, let's get into console and we can see this is the uh, topic where we need to publish our infrared uh, you know, data so that it can send the data through the LED to the internet device. Basically, I'll get here and as it is connected to broker, okay, I have already have it here. So the topic uh, will be like ir send that is you know command slash device identifier then ir send and we can basically send the same payload that we have been sending but without the ir send so for example let's take this button 4 and let's send it oh sorry not from here let's go here and publish it and you can see it will be detected by the task motor so like that we can send other commands uh, through the mqtt interface and our device can be controlled so that's all this guys uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video if so hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for videos like this see you next time with our next video till then goodbye